the day has come. It's Galaxy S9 day. Uh, let's get it out of the box and see if it's as boring as I thought it would be. Hey there friends on YouTube, my name's Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest, it hurts. This is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. If you feel like coming back again, you know what to do. You hit the like and subscribe and you come back to see me. We'd be friends. If you've already been here, if you keep coming back, thank you so much. I very much appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Samsung Galaxy S9. A little sleevey, sleevey. Where's the general keep his armies? Up his sleeveys. We got all this AT&T stuff. I always need SIM tools. We've got the phone itself. Now, I'm going to put that to the side. Because that's the main attraction. We gotta wait. Let's see what else is in the box. SIM card. Female. To USB-C. Charging brick. Looks to be exactly the same as it was for the past couple of generations of phones. A black cable. And we have the now familiar AKG headphones. Once again, I will try these out and see if I like them. I've tried them before. Maybe I'll do a review. If you want me to do a review of the inbox headphones, let me know. I'll do it. I'll do it. It's a thin little biscuit. So tiny. These phones always feel really good. I got it close to the mic so you guys can get the full effect. This is like tech AMR, ASMR. There you go. So as you can see, I got the black version. There's this giant ass sticker on it. Didn't really leave any sticky stuff. Good. This is the best this phone is ever gonna feel or look. <laughs> right now. And now I'm gonna turn it on. Hi there. So I will say that in the hand, it feels very nice. It's slim, it's slim, it feels small. Uh, but the screen real estate is diagonally the same as my iPhone 10, I believe. There's not really much to write home about in terms of the looks. This one has the fingerprint reader here, which is, I think, going to be very nice. Let's set up face recognition. Your face has been registered. So what are the immediate differences that we can, that we can see here? Fingerprint reader placement is good. This is only a single camera. Samsung decided to do four and six gigs of RAM on this model versus the, the S9 Plus. I don't know that that's really gonna matter a bunch. Lock screen. Left side, the volume rocker. We've got the Bixby button, which is still in that place where I think it's the volume button half the time and I, pr I press it. Then we got a slim, slim power button over here. The sides are a matte finish, not a glossy finish this time. I think, well, maybe the matte finish will make it a little bit easier to hold. I don't know. You know when you're using a bar of soap and it gets down to that really thin piece that uh, you have to try and use because you forgot to bring a bar of soap with you into the shower? That's kind of what these phones are like. Very slippery. Very slippery. There is not much different. So of course the big news is the the aperture, the dual aperture camera, where you can go from 1.5 megapixels to 2.4 megapixels, and uh, one's good for low light, the smaller one, and another one's good for regular light, and that's the 2.4. That's cool. Uh, a lot of people have complained to me that I've never tried to give Bixby a fair shot, so maybe I'll try and give Bixby a fair shot and I'll do a Bixby review. Is that something you'd be interested in? Maybe I'll do it. Samsung's design is always really, really good. The speaker's like recessed. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. Interesting. USB-C port. Headphone jack. Headphone jack, people. I know, you're sick, sick of hearing me talk about the headphone jack. I don't care. I'm not gonna have it set up yet, but this is my first look at the Samsung Galaxy S9. Just the S9, not the Plus, no dual cameras. I kind of I kind of think that Samsung uh, was a little grinchy by leaving this phone out of the dual camera fun. But hey, that's okay. 
Uh, I'm going to use it for 24 hours, then I'm going to do another review in which I used it for 24 hours and I'll tell you what I think. Uh, if there's anything specific that you want to know about this phone, let me know down in the comments and I will consider it over the time that I'm using the phone and we'll all be happy, right? Thanks a lot for being here. Uh, this has been my unboxing and sort of first look and impressions, a little walk around of the Samsung Galaxy S9. I'm going to continue to set it up. I'm going to get it going and then I'll be back with another video sometime tomorrow. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts! Until the next time, I'm out.